All right, so today we're at the gun range, and uh, we are going to be shooting the uh, Charter Arms 44 Special, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is the uh, Bulldog Pug M44 Special. Stainless, two and a half inch barrel. Uh, does have, well, I don't know if you can see that or not, has the... Uh, the, just a kind of the groove channel with a uh, orange uh, ramp front sight and uh, let me uh, open that up a little bit it is a five shot now we did an in-house review of this uh, it'll open it up a little better uh, but today we're going to be shooting uh, 225 grain Jacket hollow points, and then I'm going to throw in one of these Under Armour uh, Lehigh Defense 240 grain. Now, if you go to their website, they're going to tell you that uh, you shouldn't shoot these in a charter arm if you go to the questions and answers, uh, or frequently asked questions. Uh, Clear down next to the bottom, or it might even be the bottom, it'll tell you. It says, can I shoot the Lehigh Defense 44 mags in my charter arms? And it says, only in extreme emergency. Well, I have shot a couple, but I found that out before I read it. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to show you. I'm going to put two in, and then I'm going to put one of those in. And then I'm going to put two more in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close it up and spin it and uh, whatnot so that, you know, we can't see where it's at, what it's doing, where it's going. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot it and we're going to try to look at the recoil of it so I can show you how much more power. Uh, the uh, Lehigh Defense 240 grain have over the uh, Rugger 44 Special. All right. Let me see if I can get this. So what we're going to do is we want you to watch the end of the barrel. Uh, we're going to cock it so there's very little play in it. Uh, I'm shaking a little bit only because it's 18 degrees and uh, I'm not dressed very warm. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Woo! I guess you could tell by the look at the end of the gun that was the, the Lehigh defense. All right, let me see. I think I got one here that didn't go off. Nope, that just happened to be the very last one. Okay. So let's take this off. And uh, we always like to kind of look at it and uh, check it out. Let's kind of lower this uh, thing down a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. We like to check the cylinder out. We make sure that there's uh, no cracks or chips or anything in it. I'll have to move your way down here so you can see. So I can see. Uh, I like to check it out. I like to check the barrel out. Make sure everything's still good and going. Uh, Alright, so anyway. Uh, this is the regulars. And uh, like I said, uh, just Lehigh Defense, that's the 240 grain, uh, 220, 220, 240, can't remember, have to look it up uh, on their website or go to uh, my in-house uh, review of it, and uh, I'll give you a little more in-depth on it, uh, and then there was the hollow points. Uh, now, I notice when you go to these websites now, uh, the Charter Arms just says Bulldog. This is the Bulldog Pug. Okay, 
Not really sure what the difference between the Bulldog and the Bulldog Pug is. Maybe they just decide to, you know, uh, rename it. Uh, let's get out here so you can see. Uh, but like I said, it's just a two and a half inch. Uh, big bore. I kind of like the big bores. Uh, this one, uh, if you look at some of my other things, I'll tell you that uh, I take this one and uh, when I'm uh, bow hunting, uh, I carry it with me uh, for bear. Uh, I've never had to use it and uh, that's a good thing. Okay, just a short little uh, range video uh, to let you see what that thing does and I uh, hope you got to see that uh, muzzle jump on that thing so you can see just how much more power it is. All right. Uh, Charter Arms, Bulldog Pug at the range.